guys, it is officially fall. And do you know what that means? <laughs> fall decorations and possibly do some more shopping for fall too i've been itching to decorate for fall i just haven't found the time and i obviously wanted to vlog it for you guys because i live for the fall decor vlogs so this i just had to wait for a good day and today's the day so let's just get right into it so i just went into the garage and pulled out my fall decor box that big black box over there yeah that has all my fall decor in it and then after we rummage through and see what i already have i want to go out to target to tj maxx to home goods to bath and body works anywhere and everywhere just to like take a gander of what stuff they're offering for fall this season i really don't think i need more decor or anything but it never hurts to browse you never know what you're gonna come across you know so yeah let's crack open the this box and see what kind of decor we have in there. Okay, these are the first things that I want to show you guys that I got. So this blanket is actually new. I actually bought this back in September, but I wanted to save it for this vlog. I literally haven't even opened it yet. Me and my best friend Kylie, we bought these matching up little pumpkin blankets from Target. And yeah, we're definitely gonna use her this year. It is so cute. And then I found this Squishmallow in my room. My boyfriend Andrew actually got me this last year as a little surprise gift and i thought it just makes such cute little decor to throw it on the couch okay time to go through the box oh we have some throw pillows okay so we got a ton of fall stuff in this bag we have some lights and pumpkins so we're gonna bring her out and we also have some fall foliage i have some big flowers and then i also have these pumpkin flower things that Andrew got me a few years ago. I have been waiting to bring this out. This is my Disneyland Mickey pumpkin. It's my favorite fall decor. We have a gauze light lanyard. Okay, I think that's it for the fall stuff in here. Everything else is Christmas. So we don't go, we don't, we don't, we don't have a ton. I will say I'm not like an all out fall decorator i do love to bring fall into my home but i don't love her to necessarily throw up in my home whereas with christmas i have like three boxes filled with christmas decorations i want christmas to throw up all over my house so that'll be in a couple months i'm so excited for that though so i think i'm gonna take all of the decor i'm gonna like put it all around my living room and see what we're working with and then we can go shopping and see if I want to get more stuff. guys the decor is out now i'm obsessed it's just a little spice of fall not like it threw up in my house but it's definitely present so over here we have the new target blanket it's actually so soft and it was only ten dollars so if you see this at target i would definitely recommend it and then we have some throw pillows so this throw pillow and that throw pillow those are from the target dollar section years ago so I don't think you can get them anymore, but always check out the Target dollar section. I feel like they always have a lot of good fall decor. My little squishmallow. And then we have my pumpkin lights. I've also had these for forever. They are from Target. I'm sure they sell similar ones each year, so you could definitely get some from there. But these are just the ultimate vibe and they're always my favorite part about decorating for fall, especially when I'm just like chilling here, watching TV, watching Halloween movie and the lights are on. Oh. 
the vibes are immaculate. Okay, and then this is what the TV console is looking like. I'm obsessed with how it turned out. I just have the garland right there. That is from Target. A cute little gingham pumpkin, some fall foliage, the Disney Mickey pumpkin from Disneyland. I got this last year and it makes me so happy. Um, and then down here, we have a couple little pumpkins. We got these blue pumpkins and then I'm obsessed with this like little Sherpa pumpkin. They had this in the Target dollar section last year. But yeah, that is what she's looking like. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the fall decor. Nothing too crazy, but I think I'm gonna put this box away in the garage now. And then after that, we're gonna go shopping. All right, you guys, the first stop on our little fall shopping adventure, of course, is the Starbucks drive-thru. But I just ordered a kind of complicated drink. I don't know, it's not that complicated in my mind. Anyways, um, we made it a little more complicated, added some extra stuff in it and got a venti size because I'm using my stars today. So it's free. So I'm like, why don't I just go all out? I mean, I always do that with like my free drinks. I make it as most expensive as possible so that I can make free drink worth it. You know what I mean? Also, is it really free if you're spending all this money just to get the free drink? Like girl math, like, oh, it's free, but it's not really free because I have spent hundreds of dollars at Starbucks just to get this one free drink. Not hundreds of dollars. Let's do the math here. Okay, so 200 stars and you get two stars. Yeah, I think it's $100 per free drink. Wait. You get two stars per dollar that you spend at Starbucks and it's 200 stars for a free drink. So 200 divided by two, that's $100. You spend $100 in your free drink. Is that right? Thank you. Would you like a straw today? Uh, yeah, sure. All right, coming up. All right thank you so much. You too. All right, guys, here is the drink I got. It is an venti iced matcha. <gasps> Did it put oat milk in it? I hate when they don't put oat milk. I'm so sorry. I have to go back and put oat milk. Ah, no. So I gotta go back in the drive-thru and try to ask. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad. <laughs> Here, back in the drive-thru, gonna request that I can get oat milk. Okay guys, so I actually went back through the drive-thru and just the sticker doesn't say oat milk, but the barista reassured me that she actually put oat milk in it. So we're all good. It's all good. I got a venti iced matcha with some pumpkin cream cold foam on top to spice it up for the fall vibes. Um, and then I also put two pumps of brown sugar. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, let's go to Target now. He's cute. You guys, look at this top. Target is really popping off with their clothes this season. Guys, it is indeed Target Circle Week, so the clothes are 30% off, yeah, so I might, this is cute. I would really love a pair of like tall boots for the fall to wear with like little mini skirts and dresses, but Target doesn't look, I thought Target would have a good selection. They don't have the kind I'm looking for though. Guys, they're already putting out Christmas stuff. Look at these Christmas pajamas, which makes me kind of upset because I'm like, it's nowhere near Christmas yet. And I'm like, why can't we enjoy the seasons as they are in the moment? Why do we have to prepare for Christmas like so much in advance? It makes me feel like I need to buy this Christmas stuff now or else it's just gonna be gone when it's actually Christmas time which is why I hate when stores put stuff out so early. I feel like we should just live in the moment <laughs> and have let fall have its moment, you know? I have been wanting this workout top for so long now and it's on sale for 30% off because it's Target Circle Week. So I'm gonna try this on and see if it fits. I haven't even tried it on yet, but look at that color. I'm obsessed with the color. It reminds me of the Lululemon like a line tank, I think that's what it's called. Guys, I cannot tell if I like this top on me. Obviously, it's really cute. I feel like it looks so good on camera, but when I'm looking at it in the mirror, I don't know. I just, also ignore the jeans. I tried on the jeans and I don't like them, but like it looks good on camera when I'm looking at it right now. Like I love 
how it's showing off the decolletage, the decolletage, whatever it's called, you know, my collarbones. But like when I'm looking at it in the mirror, I don't know. I don't think I like it. <laughs> I really want, I think the issue is I really wanted to like it, but I just don't. I hate when that happens. Mm. Similar situation with this workout top. I thought I was gonna love it, but I don't know. Looking at it, I'm like, okay, it wasn't what I was envisioning. Like it's buttery soft. It's really nice material, but I think I like my V a little deeper on my workout tops. I'm very sad about this one too. I really wanted to like this one, but I guess that's good for me because then I save money. But again, I was like so looking forward to this. It's such a disappointment. I feel like I've been really good at this lately though, being 100% about the things that I buy. I feel like a year ago, I would have just bought this top and this top, no questions asked. But now I'm like being very intentional with my purchases, which is a good thing. So yeah, unfortunately, this is a no for me. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this section is so picked over as you can see in the background, there's like, no decor left and again here's the issue with stores putting out seasonal decor before the actual season it's all gone when the actual season is here and i'm like i don't want to go fall shopping during the summer no i want to go fall shopping during the fall but then this happens and it's so disappointing so i was just in the energy drink section because i really 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 wanted to try the alani new which is brew flavor because all of my favorite YouTubers, i.e. Alicia Marie and Miss Remy Ashton, always rave about it every year and I have yet to try it, but they don't have any in stock here, which is so unfortunate, but we're on our way to get what I really came here for. This is what I came here for. I'm currently hiding in a nice quiet aisle because I got vlog shy, um, but I just picked up the Specifically the non-dairy almond and oat milk pumpkin spice creamer. I started getting this I think about two years ago ever since then every fall season I've been so excited for this to come back because I just add it to my morning matcha and it just makes it feel so Fall vibes. I don't know. I feel like that's the theme of this video fall vibes But if you haven't tried this you need to go run to your target go get it. I really don't need anything else I'm just gonna walk around, but other than that, like I think we did really good. I really just had the creamer in my cart, and then I also picked up some batteries. Hey guys, I'm back in the car. This freaking clip is giving me a headache. Does that happen to anyone else? Please tell me I'm not the only one. I think it's because I have so much hair, and it just like weighs on my head, and oh my, I have such a headache. I wish I could wear a clip all day, because I love when my hair's up, out of my face but i simply cannot why am i exhausted after walking around target like like it's hard it's not hard i think it just like took a lot of energy out of me for some reason maybe it's because i was vlogging at the same time i don't know fall shopping saga continues it's a new day it's a beautiful day i don't know if you can tell outside the window of the car but it is a gorgeous day today i will admit it is not a fall feeling day it's just a nice bright sunny 85 degrees kind of day we're gonna get a little emotional here but i don't know why but for some reason i'm feeling really grateful for this day i don't know it's just a regular regular day but i think just like the sun being out and it being really nice and like me having motivation to like go out and do something and just like seize and appreciate the day i'm grateful that i have the opportunities to do this i don't know i'm just happy i'm just having a good day enough of that um we are on our way to bath, uh, why am I sorry? Why am I like screaming at you? Okay, sorry. We are on our way to Bath and Body Works to con uh, What are we doing at Bath and Body Works, Jada? We are on our way to, uh, I can't drive and talk and vlog at the same time. Um. So we are on our way to Bath and Body Works. There are some things in mind that I wanna pick up today and then also just you know smell all the fall scents okay guys before we head into bath and body works let me put you on something if you do not have the bath and body works app and you love bath and body works or you just want good deals at bath and body works you need to download the app because they are constantly giving you coupons for example today 
I have a free hand cream. Free. No purchase necessary. It's just free. So I'm going to get that for sure. And then 20% off your entire purchase. Now listen, this, the, I know how to finesse Bath and Body Works. I've been doing this for years now. And this is my like, favorite thing to do. It gives me so much serotonin. So 20% off your entire purchase. You save this coupon or you try to use it when the candles are on sale. One time they had $12.95 candles. It was a regular sale, right? That's a regular. That's half off of the candles. And then I had 25 percent off my entire purchase i just bought candles it was ten dollar candle day it was basically ten dollar candle day because i got the candles for ten dollars like you do not need to wait for the ten dollar candle day that comes like two times a year no just download the bath and body works app be a little bit patient wait for the candles to go on the regular 50 percent off sale and then use your 20 or 25% off coupon that Bath & Body Works gives you. And they regularly give these kinds of coupons, you guys. I'm very passionate, very passionate about it, as you can tell. Um, and I just want to help people. Like, I love a good deal. My favorite thing in the entire world is getting a good deal. That literally gives me the most serotonin in the world. So, um, yeah, we're going to head in now. But I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew about this. I needed to share this knowledge because... I couldn't be selfish and like gatekeep it all to myself. So, um, I hope you learned something. <laughs> okay, let's head in. We secured the bag. All right guys, shall we do a mini little Bath and Body Works haul? Didn't get much today, but we got a couple of new car fragrance refills these were on sale like three for eleven i got fresh balsam this basically just smells like a christmas tree i want to use this one during the christmas time and then i got frozen lake and mountain teak wood and honestly these just smell like men's colognes i did want to get a fall scented one but then i thought about it and i know like a lot of people actually don't like fall scents i don't want my guests in my car to like smell a fall scent if they don't like fall scents because i actually know a lot of people like don't like fall scents so yeah we also got the free hand cream this is the hyaluronic acid one and this was literally free so that's even better i think i'm gonna pop in to nordstrom rack really quick i have been really wanting i don't know why but all of a sudden i've been really wanting a pair of like cute knee-high boots for fall black ones specifically with like a little bit of a platform so that i can wear like cute skirts and stuff with it i don't know we'll see i i really like going to nordstrom rack to find shoes i feel like you have to just like really dig and you'll get lucky You guys, it's a new day. I'm at TJ Maxx. I found some really cute fall clothing for cheap. If you guys need fall clothing, I would come to TJ Maxx. They have so much cute stuff right now. It's honestly really hitting. I also saw this sweater. The color is not very fall, but for some reason, I just gravitated towards it. Okay, I found a little quiet area, less busy area to try this stuff on. I found this vest. I've been wanting a vest exactly like this, so I'm hoping it fits well. Then I also found these like Aritzia cargo sweatpant dupes. Mm, it's not as cute as I thought. I think I want it even like more cropped, like right here. Guys, Christmas is literally already in full force here. They have this like one little section for fall. Okay, I've made my way to the shoe section to see if there's any good tall fall boots. I'm on the hunt for that. They don't have any tall boots, unfortunately, but I found these Birkenstock clog dupes. They're $25. They're not my size, and I don't really like the material of them, but I've been wanting the clogs lately for like the fall and winter time, but they're sold out everywhere. Okay, I have done a lap throughout the whole store and i have nothing in my hands i did before but then i decided i didn't want any of it so we're walking home empty-handed which is like kind of a good thing because i feel like spending money is all or i mean not spending money is always good <laughs> i don't know i feel like i'm just like in a shopping mood and i'm a little disappointed that i didn't get anything but 
it's better for my wallets also i was thinking about it i feel like i'm not really buying anything in this like fall decor shopping video but it's like i just like don't really want anything and it's like is this video boring because i'm not buying anything i don't know like isn't it it's about the adventure that counts right the adventure of going shopping and seeing what you can find i don't know i'm like trying to justify it to myself right now um but i hope this is still somewhat entertaining for you guys even though i'm not finding a ton of stuff that i want